Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, I'm going to get through this quickly, but there has been a new update, and it is bigger than you might anticipate. So, first and foremost, we have a new event. Cool, whoop de doo no one cares. Um, but... I, w theme Chronicle, get 3,100 gems. I don't know why they decided to put this on here now, but, um, they did. Now you can get some gems. And now we know how many gems we're gonna get. There's probably a potential to get more by just, like, dueling and random chance, but, hey, cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna actually read this because I have no idea what this is. Uh, cards create history and history creates heroes, and, uh, you two can experience the Chronicles of Duels that have passed it down through the generation. Is this... No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is this uh, supposed to be... What is it? Um, Like, classic mode? Like, Edison and stuff like that? No, I don't think so. Uh, this event will have exclusive rules that promote cards from the archetypes in the solo mode scenarios, such as Monarch, Element, Saber, and World Chalice. This seems like it is going to be uh, absolutely determined by, like, World Chalice and Bee Trooper and a few others. Um, but... Okay, we'll see how this goes. Um, there are some cards uh, that cannot be used uh, as they are not part of the archetype or belong to an archetype that is not featured in solo mode as of January 2023. So, Dynamist is a thing. Um, in addition, some cards cannot be used for game balance reasons. Sick. Uh, there's the Event Forbidden and Limitist, Limited list. Okay, so we have Orcus. We have... Plunder! Oh, I forgot about Plunder. And we have Bee Trooper as the Learner Dex. Okay, those are actually three pretty good ones, all things considered. Uh, that's probably the best of the... Um, Learner Dex that we've ever gotten for an event. We've got some new icons. It looks like Mutant is on here, so we're getting a Mutant update. Uh, we got some new Protectors. we got some new Mates for Hero. Who cares? we got the new Sky Striker icon. Cool. New Dual Field. That's it. Okay, so I'm guessing for the Theme Chronicle... Uh, uh, I'd have to check the actual event, but that will come later. The other thing that we have here is the new pack update. So, two cards don't matter. We're just going to ignore those. But, two cards in particular do. Math Mech, Math Circular, and Linkage. Now, we're going to cover Linkage first because it is the less impressive one. But, if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, as like all other Sky Striker cards... You, uh, it locks you into only Sky Striker Ace monsters. Also, you can send one card you control to the graveyard, special summon a Sky Striker Ace monster from your extra deck to the extra monster zone, and then if you have at least one light or dark, it gains a thousand attack. So what this does is basically it allows you to go for a very specific OTK option if your opponent doesn't have any cards on field, or, you know, potentially you, like, steal one of your opponent's monsters or something along those lines and get it off the field that way. So, what it does is you go Ray. Uh, Ray Punch for 15, uh, tag out into Hayate or any other, uh, Sky Striker monster. We go Hayate, attack in, uh, and then you go Link, uh, or sorry, yeah, you go Linkage, link that off into a Kagari, Kagari, add back the Linkage, and then you go Linkage for the next monster, which both of them having to be, or, uh, having been boosted by the Linkage allows you to basically punch for pretty much lethal um i think you both you need two kagaris and like a certain amount of uh no no no. yeah that's it you don't even need a spell engrave or anything like that like it's just it's just two it's it's kagari and then any other link monster and a clear field and you just kill them because of linkage i don't know why this is the case but hey at the very least now they have uh like ways to actually get over monsters um now kagari can actually like if you summon it off of a linkage and you have maybe a few spells engraved, you can get up to like 3,000. Not really too uh, too impressive, but at the very least, it's something. Um, so there's that. You could also potentially go into like a 2,500 Hayate and attack for a lot of damage. So that's nice. But Circular is absolutely crazy. If you don't know what Circular does, it says all of that Math Mech stuff, yeah, you get to do it for free. So... Off of this singular card, you send a Math Mech from your deck to the graveyard and then special summon this card from your hand. And you can only attack one monster, minor restriction. But if another Math Mech monster is special summoned, uh, or sorry, is summoned, you can add a Math Mech spell trap from your deck to your hand. So this does two things. One, it sets up for Diameter incredibly well. Diameter allows a Reborn from the graveyard. So you just go circular, then normal summon a Diameter, and then you get to special summon a 
monster from the grave. Or you can dump the diameter if you don't already have it, because diameter, if it uh, is used as a Z material, I believe it gives a uh, an Xe monster in a negate, which basically means that you can go uh, Alimbersion on the opponent's turn in order to have another negate, and a, no, not Alimbersion. Um, anyway, one of the Xe's uh, in order to get a negate, and with super factorial, you're also gaining a bunch of advantage. So think of Mathematic Circular like the combo piece of like kit, or well, think of it more like Fractal for Tri Brigade, where you go Mathematic Circular and then you just kind of do what you want from that point. Um, it can be stopped, but it does dump for cost. So the only thing that really stops it is like nothing. Uh, nothing really stops it. I guess Maxi, technically. Uh, but the thing is, you can just like normal summon a monster, get the super factorial, and then like there you go. It's like one summon, and then you have the super factorial, which is probably enough. Um, super factorial is very similar to Tri Brigade Revolt. So there you go. That's what makes this pretty good. I don't think it's going to be as good as people may make it out to be, uh, but I still, this is going to be a top tier deck. Granted, the meta is incredibly diverse and you could play just about anything but yeah this will be one of those decks that you can play so this is a huge boost to the archetype so yeah so far really cool update that's gonna be it hope that you guys didn't enjoy you know this drill anyway thank you guys so much for watching and remember to always stay frosty bye bye shout out to the frost guard my members thank you guys so much for the support and i hope you enjoy the content